Hjertelig velkommen, og tak fordi I deltager på dette webinar, hvor vi skal se på de nye dashboard-funktionaliteter, der er udgivet i forbindelse med SuperOffice 10, og samtidig få lidt inspiration til at komme i gang. Dagens webinar bliver gennemgået af Jeanette Small Strøm, som er Customer Experience Konsulent her i SuperOffice. Jeg skal gøre opmærksom på, at præsentationen er på engelsk, dog med danske undertekster. Indholdet for webinaret det lyder som følgende. En kort intro til SuperOffice 10 nyhederne, i særdeleshed selvfølgelig dashboards. En gennemgang af de nye dashboard funktionaliteter og hvordan man bruger dem. Og til sidst lidt information om den nye licensplan, som SuperOffice 10 kommer med. Jeg håber, I får stor glæde af præsentationen, som starter her. Hej, og velkommen til dagens webinar where we will show you how to get started with the new advanced dashboards. And as you know, there's a lot of valuable data in the CRM system that users record every single day, whether it's sales, meetings, or requests. But are you taking full advantage of the data? With SuperOffice 10, you can make smarter, fact-based business decisions by creating customizable charts and detailed reports with advanced dashboards. And in this webinar, we show you an in-depth demo, what's new, and how to get started. My name is Jeanette, and I work with the customer experience team here at SuperOffice. And my goal is to show you how you can use CRM to build relationships across the entire customer journey and deliver great customer experiences. And if you have any questions on how to get started with your processes or CRM strategy, you can send us a message directly by email on social media, or you can also reach out on our website. If you want to see the presentation again, it will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, where you can also find more tips and inspiration. Let's take a look at the agenda for today. So we will start with an introduction to SuperOffice 10, and then we will move on to what's new with advanced dashboards. We will look at how we can configure tiles and dashboards, how we can work with templates and default dashboards, and also look at some charts on new entities. And then we will give you some tips and information on how to get started with your solution. And as you might have heard, the brand new SuperOffice version 10 was just released. Packed with new and improved features, our new version will help you to turn relationships into revenue. Now we'll take a quick look at what's new before we jump in and show you how to get started with advanced dashboards. And the first, which you also will look at today, is the advanced dashboards. Another important new feature is the ability to configure the layout of your main screens and define what information different user groups can access and see on the company or contact card. And you can save time and reduce manual work by automating various business processes without extensive knowledge of AI technology. Available services include text analyzer for automatic sentiment and language detection, text translation, automatic categorization, and a chatbot connector. You can also handle your customer's service requests directly on your mobile device when you're on the go to improve your customer satisfaction rates and exceed customer expectations. And with DataBridge, you can exchange information between cloud solutions seamlessly by setting up automatic data transfers that save time, remove manual work, and ensure data quality. We've also done some improvements to our web forms. And additional features for web forms include more fields to choose from, the possibility to use sections or multiple pages on the form, present fields into columns, and we will soon introduce new ways of publishing the web form. A new seamless integration with Microsoft SharePoint will make collaborating on documents even easier with this new cloud-only feature. And first, this is available in Pilot, but the feature will be generally available to all cloud customers later via the App Store. Another upcoming feature is sales targets. You can get a good overview of your important KPIs and set targets like activity level, sales, and average deal size so that you can proactively improve your sales efforts. 
That was a short overview of some of the new features and improvements in Superface 10. Now, let's get to know the new advanced dashboards. An advanced dashboard will let you access key information, customize reports faster, and use data to make smarter decisions. And dashboards, of course, have been around for a while. And to improve this feature, we've asked our users, and they told us that you wanted more advanced features and more flexibility than today. So that's what we've done. And with old dashboards, you've got standard dashboards and reports that are available for every user. It was an out-of-the-box solution with individual setup, but with a large number of tiles included, but there weren't any possibility to adjust the layout. And you told us you wanted more flexibility, more ready-made templates to make it possible to use any field for filter, grouping and aggregation in tiles, to have dashboard administrators, to define and push dashboards to user and user groups, and capabilities on mailings, forms and chat, and also dashboards that show performance against sales targets. And because we know KPIs and monitoring results of effort is so important for the growth of your business, but also for maximizing the value of your CRM activities, it's now possible to create new dashboard reports for different user groups and individuals, a report for sales, or just for service teams, for example. And you can also share your dashboard setup with others. And in addition, this version allows you to draw on more data fields when creating your reports. For example, you can create reports on service request fields, and you get a greater number of charts and report templates to use from an online library. There are more options available to create different charts and reports, either from a template or from scratch. And there's greater flexibility for how many tiles you want to show on each report. And reports can be defined as favorites, so they're faster to find. And you can drill down and see the details behind each report, where you can sort and filter to fit your needs. Now, let's take a look at the new features of advanced dashboards in Superface 10 and how you can start customizing your own. In Superface version 10, we introduced a new, more flexible and powerful dashboard solution. However, all old dashboards can still be accessed in your system during the transition period. And to access your old dashboards, you can click on the dashboard button once then the quick menu will pop up and at the bottom you will see the option old dashboards. Click on it and the old dashboard solution will be loaded. But there are some important things to note. Your old dashboards will be available in read-only mode. In other words, edit, create new and delete commands are disabled when you click on the task button in a tile. And there is no automatic way to move or import dashboards or tiles created in the old into the new dashboard solution. But this can easily be recreated in the new advanced dashboards, and most of them are also accessible as templates. And by default, only one dashboard tab called status is set up. And it contains different tiles with predefined charts. You can edit this tab or you can create new dashboard tabs where you can present all the tiles and charts of your choice. You can select from the navigator to change the current view to another dashboard. And if you fetch another, the current view will change. And if you want to view more dashboards than status and current view, you can also use favorites to add to tabs. And pin tabs are pushed to all users, specific user groups, or individuals. And we'll take a look at this when we create a new dashboard later on. And like before, access rights and confidentiality apply to the tile data, so tiles will only display information you have access to. And dashboards are ideal for all users and managers alike. You can get an overview of your individual work or your team performance. Let's see how to easily set up Superface Dashboard and use predefined tiles such as charts, 
reports and lists to get an instant data overview and measure your work. And by customizing your dashboard tiles, you get to show the graphs and overviews that are most valuable for you personally. And from task, you can create new dashboard, duplicate, edit current dashboard, or edit tiles or layout. You can also delete a dashboard, but let's edit this one. A dashboard can contain almost as many tiles as you like. You can choose how many columns you need, what size your tile should be, and you can change position. And you can set up your dashboards to show specific tiles with the information that matters to you. So in Superfast Dashboard, you have many predefined standard tiles to choose from. And the tiles fall into eight different categories, company, contact, follow-up, sale, project, document, product, and requests. So choose a predefined selection of tiles by navigating through the drop-down menu and then drag and drop the tile in the grid view. You can also use the add button. And every tile has a default size. And it's also easy to adjust and snaps to grid automatically. Now let's edit an existing tile. In the dashboard, click the edit tile icon. And in the dataset tab, you can edit the criteria for the data displayed in the tile. And this is the same search criteria used in find and selections. And this is dynamic data. So dates or sales or activities for a specific user group, for example, will always be updated. Now let's change biggest sales sold this month to biggest upcoming sales this quarter. And remember also to change the title name. Change the status to open. Set own by user group. And set the period to this quarter. And just remove any criteria you don't need. And here's a tip. If you've used Superface for a while, you may have accumulated a lot of data over the years. So adding filters like date or specific owners will help with loading time and performance. Now let's go to the layout tab. Here you can edit various settings, values and formatting of the tile. And the preview on the right will also update with the selected settings. We will take a closer look at these options when we're creating a new dashboard. Click Save. And now you can see the changes here in the new tile, Biggest Upcoming Sales This Quarter. And now press Done. So now we've seen how to customize your dashboard and edit existing tiles. But you can also create a new dashboard and tiles, which can include various datasets, layout options, and be grouped in certain ways. You can go to task and create a new dashboard. And here you enter the name of the dashboard, the description. You can choose theme and the default is the one you see in the status dashboard behind this window. But you can also choose the theme with calmer or darker colors or dark mode. You can choose how many columns you want to add. And in the visible for field, specify who will be able to see this tile. And by default, the dashboard will only be visible for yourself. And if you have additional functional rights, you can also make the dashboard visible or accessible for one or more user groups or individual users. And you can use pin to function to always show this dashboard for selected users. You can use this function for all users or for selected user groups or users. And using this function requires functional rights as a dashboard administrator. And a small tip here, 
If you choose the checkbox, you'll add all current users in the user group. If you press the sales name, any new user added to the group will also be added. Click Save to create the dashboard. And the new dashboard opens containing no tiles. So now let's start adding tiles. You can add from the template library like we did before. You can adjust and position and you can change the data set. You can also add an empty tile and start from scratch. And here we can add a name. You can also click to add a translation to the tile name. And now we can start adding criteria. Let's add sales this year so we have some data and different layouts to work with. Then go to layout. And first you get the different chart type options. And the first option is big number. And we will take a look at the rest later. Then we need to decide what to measure. Here we see count. You can change to sum or average. It all depends on the data you're working with. Let's change to sum. And sum doesn't make sense for a sales ID, so we will change to amount. And weighted amount is also another good alternative here. And then we have currency. You can select base, own currency, or none. Or you can choose to hide it. And in the footer, we can compare it to value. And this is a fixed number you can decide, like a goal, for example. Add a label. And add translation, if you like. We can also compare it to period. You get preset periods in the drop down menu based on what's defined in the data set. And because we chose this year, we can select previous or next year in this drop down. And then we can take a look at the formatting. Add a title. In the format, we can select integer, decimal, or short. If we like the tile to be more visible, we can also change the style to inverted color. And you have the option to change the colors of positive, negative, and neutral. Let's take a look at the other chart types. And we will start with the pie chart. And note that any change will keep the data set so you can preview the different views and find the chart types that suits you best without losing anything. And the pie chart type is almost the same as big number, but you can use the pie field to group data, which you can see in the legend. For example, by owner. You could also change the position of the legend. And if you want the labels to show number, percent, or both. You can sort by value, rank or label, and in which direction. And finally, you can change the layout to donut or semicircle. Now, let's take a look at the column chart type. Here we'll get some more options on grouping. You can choose stack by and pick sales type, for example. And when you select group by, you get multiple columns. You get the same when comparing to period. And you can also add labels to the axis. And the bar chart is similar to the column chart. The only difference is that you will get a horizontal view. Let's move on to the line chart. 
Here you will get the same options as the ones we've looked at so far. You can stack, group by, use compare to period, or you can add a value. And this chart type is often used when measuring progress in time. And the area chart is similar to the line chart, but you will get a full area. And this is more useful when you're stacking. Let's pick another one, column and line chart. So you can use the left axis for amount and the right axis for sales state. And you can mix two data sets in the same chart. And then you can measure by number of sales, for example. And bar plus line is the same, only horizontally. Then we have the list chart. And this is great for top performing lists or last number of sales. Here we can change to sale ID. And instead of ID, let's choose to see the name of the sale and the owner. And we can sort by value. And then we can change to only see five sales instead of 10. Click save and adjust the tile to fit. Click done when you have completed the dashboard. And if you can't find the right tile for you, you can also create your own tiles based on your selections. You can visualize all dynamic selections in graphs to give you the information you need in a quick and easy to understand way. Let's find a selection. Let's choose closed requests. And on the charts tab, you can select from different templates. Requests by customer category, for example. And you can also edit the layout directly in this view. And now let's go back to the dashboard and edit. And here you also find a tab that contains dynamic selections with charts and it will only show selections of the same record or entity type selected in the view list. For example, company, sale or requests. And you will not get all of your selections in this dropdown, just the ones you've added a chart to, like we just did in the selection view. And please note that when using a selection chart, the data set is copied and any changes to the selection will not be reflected in the tile. Click done when you've completed the dashboard. We have now shown you how to use templates, edit tiles, how to create a new dashboard and a new tile from scratch. So when you've configured and customize your new dashboards, remember that they're also available on the mobile CRM app as well. So you can view your new advanced dashboards and reports on the go. Now to the question on how to get started. If you are an online user, a lot of you have already been upgraded or will be very, very shortly as we update in waves. And the splash screen links to more information about version 10 and how to get started with your new dashboards. And for those of you who are on site with SuperOffice installed locally, you'll get access to download SuperOffice 10 and upgrade your installation later this year. An estimated release is November, but there's no reason not to plan your upgrade to the latest version already now. So please get in touch with your SuperOffice representative to plan and book a date with a consultant to update to SuperOffice 10. So for those of you who have access, please note that this is not your typical update with lots of new visible changes like you saw with SuperOffice 9. Like you saw in the demo, your old dashboards are of course still there like before. 
And the ability to create new dashboards is a user-specific access right that your company needs to assign you. And your CRM administrator does that. Then, of course, you're able to create new dashboards from scratch or use templates like we showed you. It's also worth saying a little bit about the new SuperOffice 10 packaging, as some of the features you saw in the demo are based on the new user plans. And what's new is, within each solution, in sales and service, there are different tiers, the essential and the premium plan. And the user plans contain CRM functionality, which is user role oriented and configurable and consists of different sets of features based on what tier you as a customer have. And dashboards, for example, are available for all users, but the ability to customize the layout requires a subscription to the premium plan. The ability to start with empty tiles is also linked to premium. And the essential plan has read-only access to the layout tab, but you can still use templates to edit and customize dashboards. And if you do not see this feature available, then contact your sales rep in SuperOffice and learn more on how you can get access. Another thing to consider when you're getting started is to have defined your KPIs. And key performance indicators are the most important business metrics for your organization. And with the new dashboards, you can customize them to measure and track your progress. So before you start building out your dashboards, you should have mapped out what ensures success in your team and what you need to measure to succeed. And when you have these indicators in place, and you know what to measure, it will be easier to design your dashboards. And when you're focusing on important targets like activity level, sales, and average response time, you will also see better performance and higher user adoption. And in our 30 plus years of experience, we found that all CRM successes start with a clear ambition and a strategy. So you need to have defined business processes the right people on board to help you succeed, and the technology to support your growth journey. And remember, when you buy into SuperOffice, you buy into a partnership with people who truly understand your business and are there to help you maximize the value of your CRM solution. And that's what we'd love to help you do. In addition to our webinars, we have a great team of consultants that can help you to get started with advanced dashboards. And of course, if you have any questions, your contact person in SuperOffice is looking forward to show you a personalized demo and how you can get started with a new version and understand the packaging so you get maximum value of SuperOffice 10. In addition, you can also read more on our customer community about the new features in SuperOffice 10. And you will also find a guide to get started with advanced dashboards in the Learn the Essentials section. And here you'll find a ton of great tips and how-tos on all the features of SuperOffice. And of course, we have more webinars coming so that you learn about the possibilities with SuperOffice 10 and improving your sales, marketing, and service processes. And all of our previous webcasts are also available on our YouTube channel. And that's all we have for now. Thank you for following along. And we hope that you are as excited as us to get started with SuperOffice 10 and especially the advanced dashboards. I wish you all a super day. Det var alt for uh, Jeanette. En, uh, en kort opsummering for hvad Jeanette gennemgik, så var der selvfølgelig lidt nyheder uh, i SuperOffice 10. Dashboardsne, uh, fokusområder, konfigurerbare tiles templates, charts på nye entiteter og hvordan kommer man i gang. Jeg håber, at præsentationen fra Jeanette gav et godt indtryk af, hvordan I kan arbejde videre med dashboards. Jeg har uh, Camillas vane tro lagt nogle links ind i uh, dette slide til blandt andet en brugermanual og en artikel om nogle tanker, man kan gøre sig, når man arbejder med dashboards. Artiklen den taler lidt om, uh, hvad et dashboard er fordelene ved at, at gøre brug af dashboards, hvad bør et dashboard indeholde, og hvad bør du overveje, når du laver et dashboard, 
og samt nogle eksempler. Til sidst vil jeg også lige nævne, at I skal holde øje med jeres øh, mailindbakker. Mine kollegaer i marketing vil her efterfølgende sende en mail ud til jer, hvor øh, præsentationen her og optagelsen af webinaret øh, er inkluderet. Har I feedback til webinaret i dag, så hører vi selvfølgelig hjertens gerne fra jer. Øh, og det gælder både RIS og ROS. Øh, så smid meget gerne en mail til mig. Det er mit mail, der står her. Øh, så reagerer vi på det efterfølgende. Det var det, vi havde for i dag, og vi stopper optagelsen her.